This is Stephen Brown, your extension agent in Southwest Florida, Lee County. Behind me is an oak tree covered with resurrection fern. I'm going to demonstrate to you that between the dry season, which is now, and the rainy season, this fern will be resurrected. So I'm going to jump up on this tree just so we can get a good close up. I need a run and start. Almost fell, but it's worth the effort. All right, resurrection fern. In the month of mid-October, it's all dried out. There is a single leaf, you can see it's all dried up. What will happen when the rainy season come? Well, that's when we see miracles take place. This is July and we're in the start of the rainy season. Now we're gonna inspect to see if the resurrection fern has resurrected, remember, what it needs is a good rain shower. If it doesn't happen, no resurrection. Let's take a look. Ah, this is what we saw several months back and it just hasn't happened yet. It still looks wilted and we just have to wait for some more rain to occur to see the full effect of a basically withered plant come into life. So we're gonna be back in a couple of weeks and we'll see what happens. We're in mid-August and this is the type of heavy rain that you need to make sure that the resurrection ferns become resurrected. So let's take a look right now to see what's happening to the ferns. What should be observed here is that not only the leaves but also the roots and the rhizome are getting completely soaked so moisture is trickling down from the trunk and the groove of this oak tree and is completely watering the resurrection fern thus resurrection occurs and i'm not going to hang around here so we're going to be back when it has stopped raining and take a closer examination of the resurrection fern but I'm glad we have the right conditions. We're back at the same spot. We were even here a couple of weeks ago and they did not even look like this. Look at the difference, rain, humidity, the summer heat, all of this has produced the resurrection, as in resurrection firm. Let's go. Oh, and a slippery trunk. Look at the splendid display of the resurrection fern. Here we have a close up of what it looks like. And it's really a colony, or it appears to be a colony of one plant hooked, hooked together by what we call rhizomes. And the, the individual leaves are what we call pinnate and relatively small as ferns go. This is how this fern reproduces, like all other ferns, it, it reproduces by spores and the spores are on the back of the leaves and you can clearly see the small, you see these little small dots? These contain the spores and when they're mature they pop open and spores are distributed, land on more oak trees and anything else that it can grow on. From its massive roots below all the way up and up on its massive limbs you can see that this live oak tree is laden with resurrection fern and if you were here on this tree with me it's an amazing sight this is Stephen Brown Lee County Extension Service and remember there's always something new to learn in the landscape including how to dismount an oak tree when you're uh, an elderly person. <laughs>